In this power course lesson, I'm going to make a parametric facade based on a point attractor. And also we can control the scale. So we can make these windows a little bit smaller. Uh, they are going to be rotated towards this point. Uh, also, we can control the number of X, Y count, which is obviously the uh, square grid we, are, we have used. And this is the size. Uh, we can also change the Z which is the movement of the windows towards the Y direction, which I'm going to explain in this tutorial, and uh, the scale as I've explained before. So we're going to learn step by step how to rotate these windows towards the point attractor and finally extract the window. Also scale to make the frame window. And at the end, we're going to make them into a solid. So you will have each of these uh, frames into a complete joint uh, B-Rep and get the final result in Rhino. So let's get started from scratch. First of all, what we have to do here is to make a vector grid. Uh, to make this as simple as possible, I'm going to make a square grid, which we can control. And uh, the plane, let me just put this into full names so you can see the inputs. Uh, the first input is a plane. I'm going to give this an XZ plane. Obviously, we want to make this a facade. So I'm going to go to the XZ plane and the origin. We can extract it and bring it wherever we want. So uh, it's going to help us just to move it around. Uh, the next part is the size and the number of XY count. This is not really uh, that important, but let's just give this a number slider for the size and make it bigger or smaller if you want to. And also the number of X from one to maybe 15 and the Y count. Okay. Uh, now that we have the grid, uh, because the cells are into a groups, uh, let me simplify this so you can understand. So if you uh, take a look at the cells, it's divided into five group of seven. And the reason here is that we have the number of X and Y. It's basically divided into uh, columns. So what I want to do here is to flatten this. So all of the cells are in one group. 